Unifor is planning on challenging last month's court order in the $100,000 fine levied against the union by a Regina judge on Wednesday. We go live to Mark Smith, who is outside the refinery complex this afternoon with more details on the news conference that was held by Unifor this morning. Mark. Unifor plans on standing its ground here at the refinery. That was the message from National President Jerry Diaz on Thursday morning. Unifor and co-op have been in contact over the past few days about returning to the bargaining table. However, neither side is ready to budge. Diaz stated today Unifor will remove the preconditions that bargaining could only take place if co-op agreed to leaving the defined benefits pension plan untouched. Co-op released a statement saying it won't return to negotiations while Unifor continues to blockade the refinery, which is something Diaz says he won't agree to. The blockade was part of an escalation in job action this week by Unifor, which resulted in Diaz, along with 13 other Unifor members, being arrested on Monday night. The union was also fined on Wednesday for violating the court order. We have our lawyers right now going through uh, whether or not uh, the fine is just. I mean, ultimately, there's legal issues as opposed to where the injunc who the injunctions were filed against in the first place, who, whether or not it was just Local 594 or whether it was with the National Union. So there's a lot of legal issues that have to be resolved here. Diaz says he is planning on meeting with Regina Police Chief Evan Bray today after Bray requested a meeting in a video posted to Facebook on Wednesday night. The Unifor leader also called on Premier Scott Moe to step in and help both sides get back to the bargaining table. But the Premier has previously stated that the province continues to encourage both sides to return to the bargaining table. We'll have more on this story throughout the day on our website and at 5 and 6. Heather? Okay, thanks very much, Mark.